Featuring Professor Ken and Rick in The Lion's Den. This is my book, The Art of Human Chess. It's a bestseller, New York best time seller. This book here sold millions, sold all over the world, all throughout the prison system. This is the book, The 48 Laws of Game, Pepology. Make sure you get these books. If you can't, if you don't want to buy the hardcover, if you don't want to buy the paperback, then the best thing to do is go to iTunes on your cell phone and type in my name, Pippin Ken, and I guarantee you the book will pop up. They don't work, go to audiobook.com, type in my name. They don't work, go to Amazon.com, type in my name. Anywhere books are sold all over the country, you can get my books. These are my best-selling books. You hear people talk about them all the time on Instagram, on Snapchat. These are definitely some good reads. Please get my book. I guarantee you that you will never be the same. Your life will be impacted, and also your life will be enhanced just by getting these two books, The Art of Human Chess and The 48 Laws of Game, just like The 48 Laws of Power, just like The Art of War. Okay, this is another one where I would say a lot of brothers may not want to hear it, but hey, <laughs> this is what's going down in the 2020. All these new fan pages and essentially social media platforms where women, ladies of leisure are getting their dollars in still without, you know, splitting it or, you know, giving their percentages to, you know, someone that they will find favorable in their life. How do you foresee it going? Man, uh, years ago, my friend Tim Seward and I, we were in the studio. We was in Hollywood, California. We was recording an album, a uh, UGK album. And he, he wrote on there, he said, uh, and, and one of the uh, uh, songs, he said, Pimp and Ain't Dead, it just moved to the web. You know, and uh, this was 13 years ago, prior to prior to uh, OnlyFans. The brother was so right. You know, he was he was a, he, he, he was pronosticating what the future gonna be like. But then when you think about, you know, like we was talking about blockchain and cryptocurrency, we was talking about NFC technology, how these new things is gonna impact on how people spend and how people do things and having a, a, a decentralized dollar where the dollar be same all over the world. Nobody would ever think that the world would have a dollar that would be universal, you know, especially through crypt, crypto, crypt, crypt, uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Lobby coin, A coin, E coin, you know. So I'm pretty sure most of my dinosaur pimps and brothers would never think that horn would be moving to the web, as Pimp C said, you know. But Pimp C was right on point. Horn has officially moved to the web. You know, only fans, man. I'm, I'm on Instagram, and I'm not understanding what's going on. I just people keep saying going live, going live, going live. So you know, I just man, like, why is everybody going live all of a sudden? So I hit a button and then it says swipe up. So I swipe up. You know, just you know, just stop thinking that that's some new shit. I'm trying to learn the technology, and when I swipe up, it say only fans, and I'm looking twelve dollars, twelve dollars for what? Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I get to investigate, I get to talk to some of the people. And yeah, I know a few young ladies that's on there that I just happen to know, you know, that not know, but just know, uh, know you know, we've right, right, right. been friends for a while, you know, and they tell me, like, look, man, this the new wave, Ken. This the new wave. This, I mean, people are making millions of dollars doing this. And I said, wow. I said, that, that is true. I mean, if you get a, if, if you got some porn, or if you got a woman, this woman get naked, you know, for $12. And you got a million people looking at it. They already got 12 million fans on, 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 on what you call it. You know, everybody been watching them and looking at them for the last year or two just in bikinis. Now they got a, a way to actually show more and bear more. Man, these women just should have get rich, man. This is a, this is something, man, that the game could have never imagined. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely uh, devastate a lot of guys that's in the game who may be, you know, living off the earnings or might be checking that bag. You know, because this gives the woman a whole other dynamic. She don't even have to go to the club no more. I mean, this is like surpass the strip club by bounce. This is surpass all of the back pages and all of the Craigslist and the Euro, all that stuff that they was doing. This is, man, this is a whole other level of the game. You know, and I was appalled because, you know, I never thought that it would happen like that. And guess what? It's legal. As long as they're 18, you can show whatever you want to show. 
Right. It's just another level of porn. I mean, it's the new porn hub. Mm-hmm. You know, you go on porn hub, and then actually, I heard that it was some people actually have the sex on there. I never been on one of those pages, but I heard that in some cases, people actually have the sex. I even see this one chick. She put up a, a thing on regular, on regular uh, things. She had a, a memo on her body, and all you hear is tap, 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 sex going on, and and, and like and it says fans only, only fans. I was like, wow, you know, and this happened because of this pandemic, you know, and that's one thing about how people, man, you know, I mean, from, from slavery to now, we always figure out some kind of way to get some money or figure out how to make a hustle, Right. you know, I mean, every people, you know, there's no history of no people that's been through what we've been through and just came out of this, you know what I'm saying, we're the only people that's came out of this, you know, I mean, we've been told that we were inferior, we've been told that we can't eat, drink out the same water bottle, we can't sit in the front of the bus, and still yet we prevail, you know, and I just, that's just to show the real, uh, you know, fortitude of, you know, our people, you know, and then, you know, we get it kicks off, we make it hip, so now everybody doing it, you know, I see white girls doing it, I see black girls doing it, I see everybody doing it, and it's amazing to me because I'm like, wow, you know, I was telling brother, I told him brother the other day, I said, man, first it was a carbon copy. You just take two pieces of paper, put some carbon paper in the middle, you, you rub them together, and that's how you got your copy. Then it went from the carbon copy to the copy machine, from the copy machine to the fax machine, from the fax machine to the smartphone machine. You know what I'm saying? So evolution, man, you know, technology is so vast. You know, I was telling one brother, you know, about, I said, brother, what is the number one, uh, I said, what is the number one, Tail company without cabs. And he said, I don't know. I said, Uber. I said, Uber is only possible because we all allow Uber to have access to our locations. And so if I'm in, if I'm down the street from you and I give, I share my location, you down the street, then I, we know that we're in close proximity. Mm-hmm. I said the same thing with Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? It's the only place where they got, it owns a hotel chain, but don't have no hotels. Mm-hmm. And the hotel chains is, is our homes that we lend out to them. So, you know, technology has advanced so, so much of uh, Rick that, you know, either you're going to catch up with it or it's going to leave you behind. Right. I look at it, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're still going to have those people, like you said, a lot of the dinosaurs and people stuck in their own ways thinking, well, I think it's going to go back to how it was. I mean, if you... I mean, a person would be a fool to go back to a strip club if they're making a million dollars just shaking their butt on, on, on only uh, fans only. You know, the strip club, everybody's in peril. You know, everybody's in danger. I mean, the whole world is in danger. I mean, a lot of things that we know, I mean, why would I go to a strip club when I can sit right there on my phone and see the same thing, you know, and get more, you know, from the same bars? I mean, you know, you can't be on Instagram looking at a beautiful woman and every time she posts a picture, you go over there and tell her, oh, what she, what, what she got on today or what she looking like today and not have some type of affinity. You know, we, we, we have gave up, we gave up our, our social, sociology. We don't, we're not social beings no more. We are social media beings. You know, so everything we do is social media. You know, this is how we interact with one another. That's why you see young people, they don't communicate too much no more because they're so busy being on their phones. So a lot of this stuff, just a part of the culture that we see and develop. You know, a lot of people are becoming internet savvy. A lot of people are becoming social media savvy. Social media savvy. And a lot of people are going to put their business and their, uh, their, their you know, their, their, their entrepreneurship just right there right. on the internet. Okay, right before I start to echo, y'all know when I start to echo, that, that means it's about to go out, but uh, Professor Ken has something else to add to this conversation that we've been covering on, you know, what's going on with OnlyFans. What do you got to add, Professor? Well, you know, I mean, using my third eye and being somewhat presumptuous, I'm kind of in the position, or well, I'm at the position where I believe that this year is going to devastate what we call the game. And the reason why I say it's going to devastate the game is because when you look at it from a wide perspective, you can increasingly see that as much as people like to blame, you know, the individual, the guy, for putting the woman out there and calling him a pimp, if you go on Instagram and you see the amount of nudity and the amount of uh, this straight-up behavior 
that's uncharacteristic of a woman. I mean, women from all ages, all type of women, black and women, just constantly all day showing their booty, you know, all day getting butt naked, all day getting in a bikini, all the celebrities is doing it. It, it, it kind of makes you think that, you know, even though the district attorney would make you believe that this woman was forced into prostitution or this woman was forced into dancing, I wonder what the authorities have to say about all this uh, loop behavior that you see on the internet now. You know, like I told one guy, I said, man, Pippin had just been pimped out the way. What I mean by that, when you look at fans only, women don't have no pimps. They over here doing it for their own. I mean, this is like regular women. Everybody, everywhere you go, people got a fans only page. Right. You know, and these are not prostitutes. These are everyday women. And they get naked, they're having sex live on fans only. So what's going to happen, more than likely, because we've seen it with Backpage, we've seen it with some of the escort service, we've seen it with Craigslist, we see the feds came in and said, okay, these guys are forcing these people to do this and forcing these people to do that. So they're going to come in, I guarantee you, they're going to criminalize it and they're going to make it a crime. You know, to be on this site, or you got to have some type of license, so you got to do this, you got to do that, because the feds make their money off a of crime. If they can't criminalize it, if it's not a crime, then they don't have a job. Right. So they don't want people running from back pages. They don't want people running from the streets. They don't want people to run from what they're doing, and then get on a legitimate site like Fans Only, because it would disrupt the entire criminal justice system in terms of that particular segment, you know, as far as prostitution, human trafficking, and so on and so forth. You know, so I just would like to know what the prosecutors and the district attorneys around the world and the U.S. attorneys feel about all these young ladies who are going on fans only and doing all kind of crazy stuff, you know, in terms of sexually, and they're doing it on their own. You know, because practically every... Women on there that's got a little fame from shaking their butt has now moved to fans only. Right. And we know that most of them don't have pimps. So the question of pimping, what, what is pimping? You know, I mean, is pimping a consent between a male and a female? Is pimping something that somebody forced somebody to do? Is pimping uh, your mother telling you to go marry a doctor or your mother telling you to go marry a businessman or a rich man? Is pimping... You know, beating somebody down and forcing them into prostitution or bringing somebody over here from cross country was pimping when somebody decided to pimp themselves and start a fans only page. You know, by themselves, no pimp, no boyfriend, no nothing, and make millions and thousands of dollars. You know, we have to start looking at how things are being looked at around the world. You know what I mean? Like, in my opinion, you know, I mean, if a woman want to get on there and she want to show her body and get paid for it, that's her prerogative because she's on Instagram showing her body and on Facebook showing her body for nothing. I think fans only just really add another layer. And even with with the game, I think that's what a lot of guys who call themselves pimps would do. They would add a layer like you're out here having sex. You might as well get paid for it. So in most cases, they don't even need a pimp to tell them that. We see that now. Do fans only. Women doing their own thing. They getting their own money. Right. You know, they don't care about no pimp. You know, if we, we take the, the, the sequential order of pimping, you say the, the trap. You know what I'm saying? We look at the Mac. You know, Mac, Mac and really came from French. Came from a guy named Macaro. You know, he was a French. He was a French guy. And, you know, he had bottles and prostitutions and so on and so forth. So by the time they got to... America, they start calling themselves Max. And then we know the pimping started from, so in terms of the African American, from slavery. Back in the time of slavery, you know, uh, most of the slave masters used to give the, 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 the young enslaved women pork chops. And once the men knew that their women were being brutalized, most of them, you know, they said, look here, honey, see if you can get two pork chops. And then that's when you start the system of manipulation. Where we start, where they begin to manipulate the white slave masters, 
And then once they were emancipated in 1865, that system went on until, you know, into, into, into the uh, society. You know, you start seeing black men manipulate white men through black women because they knew that white men loved black women, you know, even when they were slaves. So that system created what we call the street pimp. Then it went on to different levels of pimping. Then it went from that to escort service. Then it went from escort service to Craigslist, from Craigslist to Backpage. And in every avenue and every aspect of that, you know, men would charge with some form of pimping. The man had uh, pimping, living off the under the prostitution, and, and ultimately human trafficking. You move forward, you get up into, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the man's only or the fans only page where women are doing this independently. Now they can't charge nobody for pimping. So it was always, you know, women always felt sexy. Women always wanted to be seen. Women always, some women are promiscuous. Some women are not. Every woman, this is not for every woman. This is not, every woman is not a prostitute. Every woman is, every woman is not a hoe. I know personally, you know what I'm saying? My mama not one, you know what I'm saying? Me, my daughters is not that, you know what I'm saying? Me, so I can, I can say that, you know, all women don't participate, you know, there are some exceptions. There might be some, maybe some exceptions in, in, in my family tree. I don't know, you know, personally. But at any event, you know, most of these women do not have men forcing them to doing that. And fans only is a clear example. So it was a matter of time that time would evolve where these women would not need men, but they'd still be themselves. And if you think I'm lying, just go on Instagram. You can't even stroll down Instagram with that, uh, some naked woman or some half naked woman or somebody in a bra and a panty or somebody, no bra, putting their hands over their titties, covering up their, their nipples. You know, it's really big. You know, I mean, and we're talking about 80% of the women don't, I mean, even you look at some of the women profile, they could be doctors and lawyers. They still in a bikini. They still trying to wear tight clothes, show their body off. You know, knowing that men are looking, right. you know, and the more men look, the more likes they get, the more sexier they become, you know. So to see square women having a fans only page in this day and age is not strange. You know, <laughs> women like women love attention, you know, and unfortunately, they don't need a man. I mean, fortunately, I don't know if it's unfortunately or fortunately, but for some reason, in all cases, they don't need a man to to force them to do it. Half of them are doing it on their own. Hmm. Now, I was going to say, would you liken it to the comparison to, like, say, think about taxi cabs. There's always been taxi cabs at one point. But once technology rolled through, then, you know, you got the Ubers and the Lyfts. And that essentially went direct with the clientele versus, you know, uh, we had this establishment... Yeah. But, but let me break it down to you like this. Real simple. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon.com. Right. He understood he understood existence infrastructures. When I say existing infrastructure, that means that the internet already exists. So all Jeff Bezos had to do was go to the publishing companies and get a list of all of their books, put it in the virtual reality. Uh, website called Amazon.com and then add an e-commerce like PayPal, Square, or anything that take credit cards to the site. Now, they can take credit cards. He can take your money based on a virtual book. Now, he has the number one transfer of books in the world via the internet. There's more books sold on Amazon than on any other platform, any of your brick and mortals or whatever. So he's successful. And he also collect your data. You see what I'm saying? And he sell that data, you know, with his company. You got a company that sell data. Right. Okay. So then you get to Uber. Uber is the only cab company in the world. The only cab company in the world that don't have any cabs. Airbnb is the only the biggest hotel chain but don't have any hotel because what they do is they ask you to give them access to their, your location. And that's how they give you location. It says that, so when you go to some of these uh, websites that have AI, artificial intelligence, like Facebook and Instagram, you can go on Facebook and Instagram, and you can put certain 
components and devices. Like with the fans only page, if you go to the regular Instagram page, say if it's a big booty Cheryl.com a big booty Cheryl at Instagram, whatever, how it go. And you get on her page and she half naked, but she got all the clothes on and she put it in her live or in her IGTV. All you do is swipe up. Once you swipe up, now you into her fans only, you know, because she allowed them to use her location. Right. She allowed them to use her information in her phone. So that technology intertwine and intercommunicate with whatever it is that she's got on her phone, which allows the fans only page to exist. Mm. See, that's just like how Uber, you allow Uber to have my location, your location, say if you two blocks away, you know you two, but you ain't got to call a cab because I'm two blocks away from you. Right. Because we both allowed them to use our location. So what fans only doing is they allow, they asking, you know, you got to approve it. You got to swipe up. Once you swipe up, you allow fans only to access your phone, you know, your your, your, your screen. And once it, it, it access your screen, then you got to push another button and give your credit card information. Now you enter into a paywall because that's what it's called, a paywall. The paywall blocks you from entering the site, but once you pay, that wall is removed. Mm. So it's this technology. You know, technology has pushed pimping out the way. Mm. You know what I mean? You don't need no pimp. With technology, you know, it allows you to pimp yourself. Yourself, yourself. Four, Four seven. seven.